Staten Islanders told to band together to contain COVID, where in some neighborhoods, the positivity rate is already above six and a half percent. We are at our best in crunch moments, post 9-11, post Sandy. We are quickly approaching, if not at that moment, Staten Islanders. Let's rise up. City officials are handing out masks and offering COVID tests at the St. George Ferry Terminal. In Staten Island, a huge outreach effort underway now. A lot of information being provided. The island's yellow zone designation already places limits on non-essential gatherings, houses of worship and dining. Uh, we're going to need to work with all Staten Islanders, with leaders, clergy, organizations, everyone to protect the people of that borough. Across the city, cases are up 50% over the last seven days, and the positivity rate is inching closer to 3%. And starting tonight statewide, all bars, restaurants, and gyms must close at 10 p.m. Mark Levine, chair of the city council's health committee, wants to go a step further and shut down all city indoor dining. The virus is surging in New York City. We need to act now, or we face the prospect of much more broad economic shutdown. No one wants it to come to that. Now, restaurants, bars, and gyms that close at 10 p.m. are allowed to reopen at 5 a.m. One other note about restaurants, they are allowed to do delivery and takeout after 10 p.m., but alcoholic beverages to go are off limits. Reporting on Staten Island, I'm Katie Corrado, PIX11 News.